We got a double yolk. Ah, it must be a good day. It's One of the chickens laid the biggest egg you've ever seen come out of a small chicken. Ouch, her poor bum. Yeah, that's definitely a good omen. I think so. It's going to be a good day. Lots going on. So that that all the bad omen. Just yourself. Good morning. Oh, we're driving and filming. Yeah. It's exciting. It's a massive day for us. Oh, I can't breathe. The alpacas arrived today. We have been dreaming about having alpacas ever since April Fool's Day 2017. And now it's come full circle. This is not an April Fool's. It's not. Or is it? No. <laughs> so we are up early, mostly because we haven't yet. Fit the gates on the alpaca paddock. Finish the paddock. <laughs> So off we go. <laughs> How are you feeling? Jittery, excited, nervous, and oh my god, very surreal. Oh, I thought you saw something there. <laughs> no, it's just. <laughs> right. Oh, look. Let's finish this. <laughs> okay, yeah, probably should, eh? Does it work? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Depending on what you feel like at the time. We've been out here for an hour. Fingers are cold, need some coffee. But two gates are on, two more posts in the ground, and Em's is packing in the final post. Before you ask, yes, this is the first fence we've ever made. <laughs> and a big thanks to Brendan, Sarah, Rachel, Lauren, and John for their help over the last few weeks. Knocking in posts and tightening mesh. Well, mostly tightening mesh. <laughs> I don't think the alpacas are gonna get out. Apparently alpacas don't challenge fencing. Isn't that right, Em? Let's see, shall we? Ooh. Everything is going to plan. <laughs> Just out on the road. Waiting for the alpacas to arrive. I don't know if I'll ever be able to say alpacas in a way other than alpacas! Oh, nicely done. Yeah. <laughs> no problem. Should I take biscuit first then? Yeah, go for it. Come on, dude! Yes! Come on, Biscuit! Hey, guy. How are ya? Oh. Absolutely amazing. Yeah, gorgeous. <laughs> She's having a little roll around. <laughs> they feel at home already. They seem like they settled in straight away. They were out of the van and then... They weren't even stressed about just coming in. No. Just trotted in. And... and that's one reason why we really, really wanted alpacas. Not only are they... They're really easy to look after, but they're just, they feel so good to be around. They're so chilled. The Big Sky Hideaway is ultimately, we hope, a place where people can come and just get away. It's not, it's not a high octane <laughs> destination. This is a place where you can come and pause and enjoy nature and the alpacas really add to that. Yeah. Just come and chill out with these little guys. Sorry, girls. Look at your little willy bottoms. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cool just having them in they're, they're still getting used to us so yeah. we haven't been able to have any hugs yet <laughs> <laughs> if we get a bit we'll, we'll get closer each day and just see how it goes we're so happy to have them here and thanks to everybody who helped us 
get to this stage is crazy. Yeah. Whether you, you know, contributed to the crowdfunder, whether you shared the link, whether you came and helped us put up a fence, if you gave us advice about alpacas, <laughs> gosh, or if you just calmed us down when we were having a panicky moment. Maybe just me. The alpaduck! <laughs> well done, baby! Thank you very much. <laughs> so, there are alpacas at the Big Sky Hideaway. We cannot wait mm. to welcome you here and introduce you. Yeah, they can't wait to meet you. Even though they're walking away. Yeah, cute butts. Yeah. They do have cute butts. <laughs>